Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Redis on your system. Also, I will be showing you useful commands of Redis which you can use in your project. So, let's start the video. Before showing installation, let me just explain you what is Redis. So, it is nothing but a NoSQL database and it is open source and very very important, it is in memory data. Here different uh, features or capabilities is given. The number one is what in memory data structure. So Redis supports different types of data structures such as string, hashes, list, set, sorted set, streams and so on. In my video, I am going to show you string data structure. If you want on other data structure also, you just let me know through comment box. Okay, so here are different capabilities or features of Redis database. First capability is in memory data structure. So it supports different data structure such as string, hashes, list, set, sorted set, stream and so on. So in this video, I am going to show you string data structure. If you want to know more about all this, let me know through comment box. I will create separate video for that. Okay, programming support is there in Redis database. Also, we have API available which can be used in C, C++ or Rust. And then Redis database, since it is in memory database, it stores your data in memory. And because of that, it is extremely faster. So, if you want to have fast access of your data, you can go for Redis database. Also, clustering is supported in Redis database and high availability replication can be made so that it is high available. If any node gets failed, we can get the data from some another nodes. So, these are the certain capabilities or features of the Redis. Now, I am going to show you installation of Redis and here you can see this is online Redis support. So, here also you can type your queries. So let me just show you, for example, I'm typing set name and then the name I'm typing as Sunita and here I'm typing get name. So here you can see it's running my query. So this is online Redis, you can run here also. And now if you go to download section, it will show you downloads for different operating system, but there is no download available for Windows operating system because there is no support by Redis for the Windows operating system. There are group of people who are providing support uh, for Windows operating system for Redis database. So this is the website. I can give link in description box github.com microsoft archive redis release so you can just go to this website and here you can just click on this msi or zip file using this you can download redis on your windows operating system another way is what you can enable uh, linux on your windows operating system and you can use this link for downloading so i'm not enabling i'm just going to use this msi so let me just click on this Okay, so it has started downloading my software, very small file it is. Download is done. Now I'll just uh, run this MSI. Okay, let me minimize my browser. Here I'll click on run button. And now here I'm going to click on next button. And then accept the license and agreement. And click on next button. And this is the installation directory. If you wish to change, click on change button. And here the very important part, you need to check mark on this, add the Redis installation path to path environmental variable. Okay, and then click on next button. And this is the default port number on which Redis server will run. If you want to change, you can change. And here add an exception to the Windows firewall. So your Windows firewall will allow to run this port number. Okay, so I'm just going to click on next button. And then here you can set the maximum memory limit. Like after this limit, your memory will be flushed. So I'm not going to set the limit. Just click on this next button. And here we have to click on install button. It is asking me a permission. So I'm going to just click on yes. Okay, so my installation is done. I'm going to just click on finish button. Okay, so now let me go to the installation directory. So here in my C drive, I'll just go to program files and then here 
I'll go to Redis and then here we have what Redis CLI. You can open this through command prompt or you can just go to this directory and you can start this CLI from here also. So let me just click on this application. Okay, so you can see it has started my uh, Redis server here. Uh, local host IP address it is shown and this is the default port number. So my server has been started. Now I can run my command. So let me show you sequence of commands on Redis. Do watch my video till end if you want to learn Redis completely. So now let me just show you different commands. So the first command as Redis is not similar to your MongoDB or MySQL database. So here we won't be having any table or document or collection. We will be working on set of data in memory. So the first command which I am going to use is what set command. So using this command what you can do you can provide a key and value. So Redis is a key value database. So I am just going to write set and then here I am going to write name and then you can provide the name. So I just gave name as Sunita and it's giving me OK. So that means it has run successfully. Now to retrieve the value of a key you need to write get command and write your key name. So my key name is name. So it is going to return me Sunita. Similarly, if you want to add another key and value, you can just use that. So set and then I can use roll number and here I can type roll number 101 and then again I can type get roll number. So it will show me 101. Okay, now next command if you want to display all the keys, then you can just type keys and after that star. So it is going to show you all the keys in the memory. So name and roll number. Now the next command we have as exist. So if you want to check whether any key exists or not. So you can type exist command and just type your key name. So I am typing key name as roll number. Okay, so here I just type exist. So it is showing me one. If it shows zero, that means there is no key existing with roll number. It's showing me one. Now, I'll just make a mistake over here. Instead of roll number, I'm going to type roll number 1. So, you can see it's showing me value 0. That means it is not existing. Now, if you want to delete a particular key, then you can use a del command. So, just type del and here you can type roll number and just press enter. Okay. So, it's showing me 1. That means the command is successfully executed. Now, let me just type key star. So, now you can see it is showing me only one key that is name. Okay. So, this is what uh, del command you can use for deleting a particular key. If I want to uh, delete all this data from memory that is a RAM memory then or a cache memory then we can use a command flush all. Okay, so flush all command is going to delete all the keys and their respective values from memory. So just hit enter, it's showing me okay. Again, I'll type key star, it is showing me empty. Okay, if you want to clear all this, you can just type a command clear and just hit enter. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a few more command, but for that I need some keys because I deleted all the keys. So quickly I'm going to add one key. This key name is name and the value is CS corner. And now here I'm going to type a TTL command, TTL name that is time to leave. So it shows expiration date of a particular key. So until you set expiration date, default is infinite. So until you flush all, your data will be there in memory. So it's showing me minus one. So now I'm going to set the expiration date. So here I'm writing expire and then name. And here I'm writing 30. So this means after 30 seconds, my key will get expire. So let me just hit enter and show you TTL again. So you can see it's showing me 27, 25. Okay, so the value is getting decremented. Soon it will reach zero and your key will get expire. If you try to retrieve the key after that, you will be getting nil value. Okay, so now it has shown me 10. I'll just write get name. So it's showing me CS corner. Now again 3. 
Okay, so now it has shown me one. Now my key has got expire. I'll just type a command get name. So it's showing me nil value. So this way you can set the expiration date also. Okay, now okay, suppose you want to set the expiration date for particular key and value that also you can do. So for that, let me just add uh, one more key. So I'm going to write set name and then here I will be writing C is corner again. So my value is set. Now for this, I will set the expiration date, set EX and then name. And then here I'm going to give five seconds and then... Uh, the value I can give CS corner. I'll just write so it should me get name. Okay, so now it has shown me get name name. So using this command also you can get your expiration date. So these were the few important commands which you can use in your Redis database. So it's not going to show you your data in tabular format. It just stores data in a key and value format. I hope guys this video has helped you in installing your Redis database. Also getting familiar with the commands of Redis. If yes, then don't forget to hit on like button. And if you have any kind of query, you can put in comment box. I will surely try to reply to your queries. And guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye and take care.